Hi, this is Phil Sal, and I'm here with Nancy Webb in Minneapolis, Minnesota, where we're completing our ATVB PBD 2017 conference, our successful collaboration between the AHA councils on arteriosclerosis, thrombosis, and vascular biology, peripheral vascular disease, functional genomics, and translational biology, as well as the Society of Vascular Surgery. We've had some exciting talks regarding uh, emerging science in relation to precision medicine, in, in genetic editing, all the way to the uh, microbiome and how it relates to vascular disease, and of course how it in, impacts clinical medicine. So at the ATVB PBD Spring Conference, we have the opportunity to recognize some of our most accomplished uh, council members. So for example, this morning uh, we heard a presentation by Dr. Klaus Ley, who's at the La Jolla Institute of Allergy and Immunology. Now, Dr. Lay was one of the 2016 recipients of the AHA's Distinguished Scientist Award. And he's been recognized for his really important contributions to um, our understanding of the role of immune cells and inflammatory factors in the development and progression of atherosclerosis. And this morning he gave a very interesting presentation about his recent work uh, towards the development of a vaccine for atherosclerosis. Uh, this morning, we also heard from the recipient of the Jeffrey M. Haig Award, Dr. Philip Swirsky. Now, the Haig Award is given to a council member who's an established investigator who's uh, considered to be in the prime of his or her research career. Um, and it's given to someone who's um, thought to ha have given really great contributions to atherosclerosis vascular biology or thrombosis research, either basic science or clinical research. And Dr. Swirsky has devoted his research efforts into trying to unravel the very complex uh, inflammatory networks that contribute to cardiovascular disease. Yesterday we had a session uh, sponsored by the ATVB Council's Journal. Uh, and here the editors of the ATV journal um, select what they consider to be the most impactful papers that were published this year by young investigators. And as usual, this session was very exciting. We heard about very diverse topics, including um, new strategies for antiplatelet therapy. Uh, we also heard about um, research devoted to understanding the molecular mechanisms that control the um, development of blood vessels and also research related to uh, mechanisms contributing to atherosclerosis. Um, we also had a session where we heard presentations by final finalists for the Irvin H. Page Award in atherosclerosis and vascular biology, as well as finalists for the Kenneth M. Brinkhouse uh, Award in thrombosis. Now, both of these awards are extremely competitive. Um, the members uh, of our council um, who are at the early stage of their career are considered and the basis for the award is really in the excellence of their science. And so last night at our council dinner we heard that the recipient of the Page Award is Dr. Merit Westerterp who's at the University of Groningen in the Netherlands. And the recipient of the Brinkhouse Award was Dr. Kelly Marcus, who's at uh, Harvard Medical School. And again, we really appreciate the opportunity to recognize all the accomplishments of all of our council members and the really exciting science that's um, being devoted to the mission of the AHA. So again, we've had a great conference. And we're excited about not only the progress we've made, but our future collaborations. And we look forward to meeting again next year, this time in San Francisco, uh, May 10th through the 12th. Thanks very much.